Hey guys, this is part one of my catio introduction video. My hubby and I have been assembling this for the past few months and it is almost complete. In a few months I will post a part two. I am waiting on the manufacturer to resume business in China because of the whole COVID situation they have shut down for the meanwhile. In part two I will show when it is fully complete the additions we have made plus I'll be adding shelves so stay tuned for that. Let's start part one. So this is what the outside of the catio looks like. We put it together using 8x8 chicken coops that we bought from Tractor Supply. There are three of them used to assemble this at the moment, plus an extra roof section. We've been hodgepodging it because it was never meant to be a big thing. Um, so we've bought some extra support instead of having like a wall, that entire area where you see the two metal pipes they're supposed to have a there's supposed to be a wall there um, but we didn't want a wall splitting up the large section of the catio so we bought these uh, metal poles at Lowe's and um, they're black and they look like they belong so that's my intention I just want to make sh sure that whatever I put in here it looks appropriate and not too completely hodgepodged Anyway, so I have two doors in this catio. I have one door there, where we just came in from, and another door here. These doors, you can go in or out, and you can also lock them in case you're concerned about somebody, I don't know, stealing your cats, going on vacation or something. For this particular catio, um, we made this little kitty door in the window here so that the cats can come in and out and use it free will. It opens, they've learned to use it. It took them about, I don't know, a week to two to learn to use it. It's air conditioned inside. There's nobody out here at the moment. So they'd rather be in there. We made these kitty stairs um, so that they didn't have to jump all the way up. I don't know, that's like maybe three feet. They, they were not very graceful sometimes when jumping or landing. We have... Uh, a set space that we needed to make this fit in. I definitely recommend if you're going to make a catio and you have a lot of space that you make it square. It's just so much easier when you make it square. Uh, we have the roof pieces that you can use for securing your pets from wildlife. In this situation, we live in an urban area. There are no predators here that can take my cats truly. The worst things we have are possums and raccoons and they're not truly found in this area. Hey Simba! Hey Baba! That's Simba guys. So uh, this here we've assembled using pipes from Lowe's. These two sections don't technically come with the 8x8 chicken coops that you buy. You have to buy them separately. You have to cut them and in this section there is supposed to be a wall that comes down and there's supposed to be a wall in that section too because these are supposed to be 8x8 but because we wanted to hodgepodge them together we had to you know get creative. We needed an extra set of brackets that we ordered from the company. We still need to complete the roof section over here. You see there's all of this all the way to over there. We need four extra roof pieces to finalize the catio and then nothing will be able to come in or out that is not, you know, um, approved by us. But at the moment, the cats can't really jump uh, all the way up there or if they can, they've never tried and they are i don't know they're they're persians guys they're they stay where they their place generally um but if you have a, a different breed of cat like a, a bingle maybe they're more active and they might be able to like jump you know from a windowsill up to the top and escape it is very very doable to enclose this catio all the way if we didn't have the house there we just you know, uh, put more pieces to go all the way down to the ground and enclose it. For the flooring in my catio, I used a combination of AstroTurf and large pine bark mulch because it doesn't stick to the cats. Let's talk about the benefits of both of them and the 
cons of both of them. So for the AstroTurf, it is wonderful to look at. It is very easy on the eye. It stays green all the time. The cats don't get dirty on it. It's super easy to clean. You can just rake, you know, if you get like big leaves or pine needles, you can rake them away and you can vacuum the rest very easy to maintain the cons of having astroturf is that if it is in direct sunlight and in warm temperatures it can get very hot so if you are in a warm climate and considering what floor to put down for your catio i recommend getting some shaded areas providing some shaded areas for the cats something you know the cats like to lay underneath the bushes in the planted area and then when it gets cooler uh, throughout the day like in the evenings then they'll come out here and you'll find them laying on the edges of the catio uh, and so that is pretty much everything you need to know about this grass I installed it I don't know maybe about six uh, seven eight months ago it's kept well the manufacturer says it'll easily last five years without showing any wear and tear I think he guaranteed it for like 10 years um, maybe not that much, but he said, based on his experience, that it can last a very long time like that. And so we go over to this section, the plant extension. I highly recommend that you do not use fine mulch. Do not use red mulch. Do not use anything that is very cut up because if you have cats, especially really furry cats like I have Persians, it will stick to them. It will stick to their fur. It will stick to their tails. They will drag it in. The house if you have a cat door and they're allowed to go in and it'll knot them and you'll have to brush them constantly so the best I can do in terms of mulch that I found here in Florida around me was this large pine bark which does not stick to them it doesn't stick to them at all so I'm very happy with my selection of mulch it, maybe it doesn't look the best to some I think it looks fine with the, the complementary plants the colors I put in um, so that's that's it guys that's everything I can think about for uh, advice on flooring for a catio I, I know some people use concrete I, I don't like concrete you know I maybe some smooth rocks would work with some tile work and making it pretty I like everything I do to be pretty so this this is what I found to keep the cats area looking pretty all right so that is everything I can think about to say about my catio I do plan on adding shelves to those areas in the future so the cats can sit on there and uh, as you can see over there in the tree I have a bird feeder they can sit watch the birds they like cooing at the birds it's absolutely adorable they can be entertained out here uh, especially for my boys since this is primarily for them because well they need to be separated from the girls because they're breeding and they spray and this never holds smell out here every time it rains as well you know it washes everything away it's relatively pretty clean and healthy out here if you have any questions because uh, i'm sure i didn't cover absolutely everything i could have then just leave it in the comments and i will answer them as i get a chance okay i will post part two of this video eventually uh when i finish putting up the rest of the pieces and i have to catch shelves in and um hopefully that's not too long from now okay well thanks for listening guys i hope you've enjoyed the video